Greetings, Earthlings. Today we're going to talk about Superbite Outriggers. These are a steel wheel outrigger that is offered for the walk behind tractors. They go on the outside of a pair of rubber wheels and they give you a scalloped disc which is a little larger than the rubber wheel and will actually cut into the ground as the tractor moves forward uh, for stabilization. And then you've got these cleats on the outside that bite into the ground as well. So the idea is you would use a set of these super bite outriggers if you're mowing on super steep, steep slopes or doing any work on very steep slopes. Because as you move forward on the hill, these scalloped discs will actually cut a slot into the ground and keep you from sliding sideways. And then of course the weight will transfer down on that lower side and these cleats on the bottom side will really dig in and help you drive. So the idea is with these super bite outriggers that you're not going to want to run them all the time because you'll probably want to transport the machine from place to place. And if you're driving on concrete or asphalt or even gravel, you don't want to be bumping on these steel discs, bump, 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 bump as you go down the road. It's just a horrible thing. Um, drive you nuts and dull these discs down eventually, put a lot of wear on them on hard surfaces like that. So they designed the super bite outriggers to be easily removed uh, from the tractor once you've got the system installed. So the deal is there's a big crank on the inside here and that is connected to a bolt and the bolt is screwed down into a nut which is welded onto this receiver piece here. So this receiver piece is going to be attached to the tractor hub and then when you want the outrigger on there you'll just spin it on with this big spinny nut or spin it off. So we're going to go ahead and go through the process of mounting it on, on this BCS tractor. This is actually a BCS 660, but it'll fit on any of the BCS tractor models that have differential and steering brakes. Um, so the first thing that you'll have to do is, is if, you're buying, if you're buying a setup like this, the Superbite Outriggers, for an existing tractor you already have, uh, you'll have to be aware that this mounting platform, the, en the end of this mounting platform, which is what this is going to tighten down on, down in this little well in the back here. It's going to suck it down into this hollow pocket until it bottoms out, essentially. So this surface here and this surface here need to line up. That is, there, that's where it's going to come down flush. So this, this receiver needs to end up right about at the edge of your tire. If you sight, if you sight sideways across the side of your tire, just lay a straight edge across it, like this board for example that's about where this thing is going to need to be it's going to need to be touching that or sticking out just a little bit you don't really want it down in there much because if it's down in there at all the, this steel is going to come up against the rubber and it's not going to fully tighten that nut it'll come down and kind of bounce a little bit because you're tightening down on the rubber but it'll never fully tighten which means it's going to loosen up it has to come down all the way on this plate so it's metal on metal and will stay tight so if anything, you want it sticking out a little bit. Well, on this set of wheels here, you can see that that's not going to happen. Uh, this is an adjustable track wheel, and it's adjusted right now to its standard position. That is, this is, does have the adjustable rim piece on the inside. This is kind of the standard position where it comes from the factory, but it's way down in there. It's just not going to work. Um, we could adjust the rim so that it uh, essentially the, the rim is moved further back in and the hub is sticking further out. On some tractors you can do that. On this one you actually can't because the 660 has like a, a hub protector on the back here and this is the minimum wheel position you can get it in or that is the minimum wheel width position. So we're kind of stuck with where it is. So what I'm going to do is simply mount an axle extension on the inside here that's going to allow me to push this out far enough to get it where it needs to be. So I'll run through the procedure here real quick. First thing I'm going to do is get the wheel up off the ground. There we go. 17 millimeter zip gun here. The Grillos are a uh, 19 millimeter, but this, this system works on the BCS and Grillo tractors both. Take off the original wheel mounting nuts, get the washers off of there, 
mount whatever length axle extension you need. Now this is just a standard uh, two and a quarter inch axle extension. They're sold by the pair. There's, as a pair, they're sold as a four and a half inch axle extension because we always add the numbers together for a set of axle extensions. So this is the standard factory made one. But we at Earth Tools also produce several lengths of custom axle extensions. Uh, so whatever the depth is that you need, you just have to take a measurement. Um, you know, if you're, if you're going to place an order for a set of Superbite outrigger wheels, take a measurement from like the base of your hub, uh, wherever your wheels are adjusted on your particular tractor, because they could be at various positions depending on how the adjustable rim is set up. Uh, take, take that measurement, basically lay a straight edge across the outside, measure to the, you know, to the actual mounting surface of your hub, and tell you know, the Earth Tools salesperson on the phone, hey, this is my spacing, I need a, whatever it is, a set of 12 inch axle extensions, a set of 10 inch axle extensions, eight inch, whatever it takes for your particular wheels. This one works fine with the two and a quarters or four and a half. So. Get that tightened down good. Get this thing mounted on there. <clears throat> Now, it's also worth mentioning that uh, BCS offers one size of the Superbite Outriggers. Uh, they offer the size that actually works with these wheels right here, which are the 5 by 10 by 20 inch wheel. Um, at Earth Tools, we offer these in three different sizes. We have them that'll work with the 5 by 12 by 22 wheels uh, and also the 6.5 by uh, 12 by 23 wheels. So we have all three sizes. And uh, we have them at a little better price. But the point is, the, the, the larger wheels are actually a little more popular, so we decided to stock them for all types. Now, when, before you put this actual outrigger on there, if you're mounting these for the first time, you're going to want to put a little grease in here because the, uh, if those threads are dry, it's just gonna be a pain kind of getting them on and off of there. And when you're exposed to moisture when you're mowing and everything, you don't want rust to build up in there. So let me get a dollop of grease here. Get grease on my finger, grease that up, grease the bolt on the inside. Okay. There it is, spin it on. There it is, nice and solid. And you can see that with it pulled up onto that 4x4, I had ample room to get that on there. Now once I roll this off of the 4x4, it's going to come down on that Superbite outrigger, which is fine. And so to get the outrigger on and off during normal operation, you would just roll the thing, you know, roll either roll or drive the tractor up onto a little piece of wood like that to just get that one wheel off the ground. Take your outrigger on or off with the big screw crank in the middle. Roll it down off and you're ready to go. And then repeat the process on the other side. Thanks for watching.